please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Santosh Singh, the head of research at Hightong Securities, joins us now to tell us whether we should begin sifting, whether we should start picking up shares, or whether we are still trying to hold a falling knife. Uh, good morning to you, Santosh. That's the first question. Are you recommending to your investors to buy NBFCs now, or will you tell them to wait? See, uh, our opinion on the NBFCs has been that we have been trying to avoid NBFCs where both sides, because what has happened over the last two years is that the market has been very positive on companies where they have tried to grow their names and the loan book in a really fast way. And that means that there has been some compromises on liability where CP, because the li liquidity was so high that the CP market was available and, and it was available at a low rate. So, the, so companies went for CP market and the liability franchise was slightly, so that, that was one concern we had from the beginning of, for almost last one, one and a half year, that the, the liability side was getting weak and on the asset side, growth was getting rewarded quite a lot. So we have been recommending to investors at, from the beginning of the year that actually you get into NBFCs where both of these sides are stronger. And that's where we have been talking about that actually HFCs, if you look at, uh, we have been not that positive from the beginning of the year, but now <laughs> last two days might change things for us given the sort of valuations have, uh, the, have fallen drastically. But uh, uh, so what we are talking about is that if you get into NBFCs where the liability side is strong, the asset growth is not so difficult, but uh, when the strong liability side means that you're not going to see a significant uh, fall in the stock price. So, which are the NBFCs that you would recommend uh, long-term investors to buy post this fall? So, we have been talking about, actually we have been talking about Canfin Homes, which mm -hmm. has fallen, uh, which was at six times book value some two <coughs> years back, now it is at two times book value. So, we have initiated this around a couple of months back, saying mm -hmm. that this is a very strong franchise, 23% return on equity, um, and, and, and mainly home loan business, almost 90% of the book is just housing finance. So that's one company we have been recommending. We have definitely been recommending Sundaram Finance, which is again a very strong franchise, both on liability and the asset side. Uh, HDFC Limited is another one, but uh, no, I won't say that it's a finance company, no more a finance company, it's almost a conglomerate, and that's mm -hmm. why we like that part of the of the companies. Okay. So there are few amongst housing finance and, and others which we have liked.